So we're at Rocky Mountain Cycle Plaza. I hired my buddy Levi. He's even wearing the same Rocky Mountain Cycle Plaza <laughs> hoodie. We're not biased at all, but this is the best shop in Colorado Springs. <laughs> Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> we, we don't want that, no. Alright, so I need to find Jesse. Jesse's my man. Jesse is the man. What's up, man? Are you cool with yeah. me filming? Okay, cool. Cause you just have to blur out my face. The FBI don't want to see this. <laughs> Stupid Instagram. Oh, no worries. Trying to figure stuff out. No worries. I brought so my I checkbook. Kept trying to call you, and I'm like, all it did was ring and ring and yeah. ring and ring. Yeah, because I changed my number because I have some medical bills. Yeah. I have it. Yeah. I, just got I think you're recording. Do you still want to be recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just record. Cause I'm I went back and verified your phone number with both places. It is. And it was wrong. Yeah. And then so I tried to shoot your message on Facebook and then I'm like, oh, I still didn't hear back. I'm Dude, like, maybe I it was Instagram. I haven't been on Facebook just because people have been giving me a really hard time on Facebook. Really? So, yeah, I kind of stopped Facebook for a while. Dude, this thing's great. Oh, yeah. Hey, if it seems really blurry, is it going to come out that way? <laughs> or? Um, I'm focused all the way out. Do you think? Dude, it's nice and warm back here. Ooh. She's so pretty. She the first 2020 rock star just for you. Yeah. What do, what do I name her? Betty? Betty. <laughs> All this, this got Cita. I thought it was going to be a little bit different than the, the stock ones, but no, it's really the same. Yeah, just a different wrap on it. I feel like you're filled with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to look at the Hondas or anything? Yeah, we can. I hope so. But I, I mean, it, it, it does. It still kind of feels a little bit like vintage. But it's skinny. I do like the hydraulic clutch though. But no scary play. That I don't. I'm not like in love with the Huskies. It's because I feel like I'm so up on top of them. Well, you can ride mine today. They're they're a little bit wider. They're not as skinny as the Cowies, but I just wanted the Rockstar dude because it had a, all this other little add-ons. Yeah. That was nice to it. Yeah. Nice motor, exhaust. So I need to get some chain lube. And. I need to ask John Old what I should put oil in that thing, because I've been putting Rotella in that bike, which probably isn't the, the best. Depending on the weather, sometimes I run 10.30, sometimes I run 10.40. Yeah, I've, I've always liked 10.40. Well, I need somebody to check me out. No, oh. I'll check you out yourself. I got you right here. <laughs> Sorry about no, that. I, I, I thought Larry was already so. helping you. I didn't want to dive on in, but yeah. uh, let's see here, Johnny. What else can we do for you today, mate? Um, I'm an idiot, and I bought a brand new one of these, and somehow like the top is broken. Yep. Is there any way to still get the chain loop out of the bottle, or, um, or are you just kind of? <laughs> you, I was gonna say if oh. if it isn't the metal isn't damaged, 
you buy another bottle and then you can reuse that cap. So yeah, okay. you got it, Levi. So that would be the ticket right there, brother. Perfect. I don't know. I'll probably There's been some of them that are damaged beyond repair, where we've had to like pretty much just get a hold of our rep and be like, and it's happened in shipping. So like, Ooh. you know, this bottle Eight showed up like this. Line seven. Eight Let's get you in there, Mr. I still think I'm more hated on the internet than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Oil in that mm -hmm. bike. Yep. What should I put in there? We have the 1050 Husky oil. 1050. Mm -hmm. Works great. Been running my bike. Brandon runs it his bike. Phenomenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll break this bike in and then yeah. probably change the oil. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Um, then we'll look into doing a header and remapping it so you get some more power. Okay. When like, you're ready. Just take the stock header off mm -hmm. and then put like uh, a mega, mega, bomb. Mm -hmm. mega bomb on it. And we'll send your ECU off to Tokyo Mod. Have Tokyo Mods map it. Be good to go. And Sweet. you're probably going to run regular pump gas or race fuel. Um, probably pump gas. Okay, yeah. we can map I don't, I don't pump either. gas for sure. My wife would hate me if I started spending thirty dollars <laughs> a gallon on, on yeah, fuel. <laughs> for, sure, for sure. But yeah, that's that's where our, our next step would be with the bike. Okay. And if if I go to Tokyo Mods, mm -hmm. you get um, that bin number, bro. Am I going to? Oh, is, is it going to change yeah. just one map, or is it going to change? So both you'll have maps? your stock map, and then you'll have their map. Yeah, no so worries, have brother. Two maps. Okay. Yes. And yeah. the stock map, do I get a pick between if I want it to be that aggressive yes. or that yes. more tame one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's just sending in your ECU, it's super easy. Get it back in a week type deal. So it'll work out pretty good. I remember one, uh, it was after the national. I was all pissed off because I didn't qualify for the national. And so I went up to um, the course race. Yeah. And uh, God, I even forget his name. I'm, I'm probably. Cody? Probably the concussions. Yeah, but I was in front of Cody for a while. And then we got into the, the real trees, and that guy just. Yeah. Kind of smoked me through the trees, and then it started raining real bad, and I ended up getting stuck in a creek bed, oh. and it was raining like hardcore. So like it was inch, inch, inch. And I'm like, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> so I'm trapped underneath the dirt bike. Oh, and shoot. luckily, uh, third place came by yeah. and um, picked me up, and he couldn't get in front of me because I was in the middle of the way. Oh, so man. then I got up and I made sure he was okay, and then uh, I left, and I ended up finishing second. Nice. But then I ended up giving him the 300 bucks because you know i wouldn't have finished i would have <laughs> yeah. almost drowned if i didn't have help that was fun when you used to go out there to fountain we'd have those the hair scrambles out at fountain yeah yeah you'd Did show up and i'm all here we go yeah i think they still do it okay i never won fountain i would always win the first hour and then i would just fountain's get tired. so brutal man it's fun but it's yeah. hard if i would have i feel if i would have gotten a big tank yeah um because whenever i have like a 40 second lead and then fuel. film the fuel, it was like a minute break. But I always told myself, like, <laughs> I needed the minute break. Yeah. I could get some water. And I remember my brother poured gas in one of my goggles <laughs> one time. So then oh. I ended up doing a whole 10 lap with lap with no goggles. Oh, God. Uh, until the next time they were able to give me some more goggles. But <laughs> we were definitely not prepared on any of that stuff. It was fun seeing you out there though because that's when Cody knew he's like oh I better step it up because yeah yeah you know he's pretty much the fastest off-road guy around here so when you come in it was like good to see that yeah yeah and then Blythe uh oh Ian yeah he, that kid is is super quick I remember always mm -hmm. beating him on a little bike yeah and then we started doing a couple off-road stuff together and then things got real serious and I, Jesse, I would have his, his dad call. would come up to me oh, like my. after his yeah. kid beat me Watch. and then it just, it just seemed fake because yeah. it was, oh, now that uh, my kid beat you, we could, we could be friends. <laughs> yeah. But then when I was beating him, he would always protest me that I was cutting the track and no, I never. was like, <laughs> 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 I mean, the cool. courts, it's so tough because there's miles and miles of stuff and yeah. sometimes there's those corner things. I'm just like, and they cross you know what? A path this at is, each other so it's easier to go this way <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's good to see that you're gonna just have some fun now i i, you know? I want to I that's want where to. it's at my fun. wife is uh she's upset about me getting a bike well you're on the right path it seems like we talked about it and you're yeah i want to have fun right there is the best time ever yeah you'll enjoy it yeah Once he puts the helmet on it's almost not about <laughs> just having fun anymore well, if I see you out there, at least I'll be able to see some of what you're doing and learn off of it. So, Dude, whatever I can do to help. Yeah, I'm always down to go out there and watch and learn. 
Well, I don't know everything. But I've learned a lot. Pretty damn fast, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll have you like take the camera whenever. And have a good one, Johnny. Thanks, dude. Come out and ride. Yeah, we'll come out and see you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, just give me a a heads up or something, and I'll try to get the track all good to go, so we can have fun. All right. Yeah, you can switch it, but because that damn thing's in the way. But then if you need to, just tap the screen. The right here, this school address is different from your mailing, or mailing address is different from the school. Fill that out. On my ass coordinate, she's good with the phone number. Everything, too. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sign in his life away. What? Sign in his life away. Yeah. <laughs> Come sit over here, dude. Let's see what sales worksheet. Perfect. So this just shows that you are purchasing the 20 Husky FC 450 Rockstar Edition. Perfect. For that price, cool. um, our delay handling fee at the 69, your 5.13 taxes, so then that's going to be the grand total for the check. Awesome. Okay. Do you need to vet me anyway? As no. opposed to me, just... Just write the check. That's all we want is the money from you. Yeah. These guys trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, editor, hold the video. We have an alert going on. Johnny duped you again. He clickbaited you. I clickbaited you so that he bought a dirt bike with Bitcoin. Before I get everyone to throw in stuff, throw in their cell phones, because I lied. Technically, hypothetically, one could argue I didn't lie. I've made a little over 20 grand in cryptocurrency. It's enough to buy a dirt bike, at least this $11,000 Husky Rockstar that I'm purchasing at the moment. By the way, he's a handsome mother isn't he? It's beside the point. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Bitcoin. Should it be even considered money? And why hasn't it been accepted? Well, it's a decentralized form or fiat form of currency. And if we just look at the definition of money itself, it's got to have three things. It's got to be a medium of exchange. It's got to have three things. The first one is a medium of exchange because we all value money because it enables us to buy goods and services. Does Bitcoin fall under that category? Yeah, it does. You can, to a certain extent, purchase things around the world using cryptocurrency or in particular Bitcoin. The second one is it's a unit of measure. Right? It's kind of like a yardstick that we use to account for prices and record debits. And then the third one is a store of value. You know, if we look at our fiat USD, one would say it's a store of value. With the inflation and Trump releasing a $6 trillion, $4 trillion, something ridiculous number to save the American people, kind of like a, a bailout, the total package here comes to roughly $6 trillion. Because a lot of us are out of work at the moment uh, for two weeks, trying to give every family 1000 bucks to 3000 which is just blows my mind. We're just going to print money. I mean, he, we have to do something. And we all know that I'm a big manga follower, you know, Trump supporter. Got to do something to help the American people. But printing money just creates inflation, which in turn sucks for us consumers, you know, the Americans on the other end, because milk goes up, gas goes up, and we don't get a pay raise. So just printing money is not good for us. Back to what I was saying, Bitcoin kind of fails at the other two. It's a, as far as being a store value because it's so volatile. It's very hard to use this as a measuring stick when it drops by 60% or inflates by 200% on a weekly, daily, yearly basis. It's it's difficult. And then the whole store value, it's just not a dependable store value because of what I said before. So I will say Bitcoin does have some interesting pluses to it as far as it's being private. When you go to buy something online, you have to give your billing address, your shipping address, the three-digit code. It's very easy to steal your identity with something like that. Bitcoin, unless they have your private keys, you're going to have a transaction go on the blockchain, which is a giant ledger. Other than that, it's 
impossible to find out where it came from unless you physically told, hey, here's my private keys, you know, steal me, which would be dumb. And it gets rid of the whole trust system, which we trust our banks not to steal our money, but they go and take our money, invest it, lend it out for mortgages. So if you went to the bank, if everyone went to the bank and was like, hey, I'd like to take out a hundred grand, they're going to go, whoa, 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 can't do that. Hmm. It's kind of a problem. We saw in 2009 a major bailout because the whole world would end if it wasn't for the banks. And we're laughing here that somebody has complete control. So Bitcoin gets rid of that because it's more of a peer-to-peer -peer ownership. You and I both own it. And I can go into many different details, and I do on my other channel, but this is about me buying a dirt bike. So Johnny, shut the fuck up. And <laughs> Boo, you whore. Maybe he'll even ride the dirt bike in this video. Who knows? If you're here still, God bless you for staying with me. Or they know where I am. If, if, yeah, if either I or. <laughs> it's a husky chair. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Are you going to take it out this weekend? Yeah, we're actually going to go ride right now. We're oh, gonna go sweet. break it in. Break it in, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> then that must be the uvula. Oh, so it's a girl house. It's the only thing that lets me ride whatever I wanted to. <laughs> um, it's the 29th, right? Yeah, 29th. Yeah, so it doesn't even count today. Because it's a fake day. It's leap year. Oh, oh so, yeah. I, is it leap year? Yeah. Huh? Your wife's all good with this? You don't have to help me. <laughs> uh, she's not. No? <laughs> I was telling her about, like, because um, AMA, they couldn't get a hold of me, so they called my wife. Oh, okay. And I, I messed up on my pro license. And my wife was like, why are you calling me? And so then she was talking to me. And, uh, I, I don't want to lose my number uh, more than oh, anything. Gotcha. But, uh, but I might race the national. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, we'll see, but she's not a big fan of... No. <laughs> Does she know you're buying it? Yes. yes oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, but uh, she's, she's a good... As long as I don't get hurt, it's okay. Yeah, big support on that, right? Dumbass! Uh, Husky has a 30-day warranty, so if something happens in that first 30 days, like if force, he'll start leaving or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> we'll take care of you. If I hit another wall... <laughs> yeah, don't hit a wall, please. Um, and then privacy notice, not going to give out or sell your info. And it comes with... That's just a different side cover that is bending. Yeah, w which is cool because normally I put holes in them. And then, uh, yeah, I'm screwed because then I have to tape them up. So that, that's a nice feature. Uh oh. We're having te technical difficulties. <laughs> Successfully unlocked. Sounds pretty. Sounds pretty. What, Kevin? Is it like the fact that the hubs match? Yeah. And the spoke tips and the spoke all the way around? Yeah. I people have told me that the they're different. The spokes are are different than the other stock FC. I don't know because I know sure about that one. I know my other one. They would always. Get but I was hoping that this gut seat wasn't gonna be so sandpaper-ish. But it's sandpaper. You know, I don't know, maybe I should go buy some numbers. Just so um, I'm working hard. 
So Levi, do you think should I get some numbers? Or just What's going it? through your head? Are you gonna race it? We we, we can't say for sure. We can run back in and get some numbers just in case. I'm just not a big single numbers fan. I would just order the full number plate. Alright, so I've, I've put two hours on the bike so far and I'm honestly really impressed compared to last year's model because that ECU sucked, sucked. So if there's one thing I can tell you about this new bike is the ECU. Map two is amazing. Map one is even pretty strong, but here I'm at 5,000 feet. The map two works, works really well. I even like some of the things that I found out finally once I broke everything in because I wanted to make sure that the suspension was broke in before I started changing much on the motorcycle. So what I ended up going with was I ended up going with 10.8 bar, which is like 157 PSI. I'm 150 pounds, what do they call it, soaking wet? So with gear on, I'm probably 165 or something, but um, 157 pounds, 10.8 bar. And then I ended up going to 12 on compression on the forks and 10 on rebound. And on the shock, I went to one and a half and 13 on low speed and 13 on rebound. And that was my happy medium. I'm out here at Aztec Raceway, so it's, it's, it's a fast track. It doesn't get super rough or rutted, so I want the motorcycle to go over some of the choppy holes that it gets. Because I'm here in Colorado, we get cupped out holes rather than big, big bumps. But what I did in, like was even the rebound on the fork is a plastic little knob, just like the front of the fork. So I don't need a screwdriver, which is awesome. So I'm hoping my GoPro didn't die and maybe I can show you a little bit of how I rode. Yeah, this is the 20 and a half. The uh, Rockstar just yeah, I, I wanted it because of the triple clamps and just little things. And yeah. it's, so far I like it. Right on. You want to ride this? No, I'm not. <laughs> I know. That's what I was thinking. We've already paid for these or paying for them. So. Yeah, yeah. I might as well not want to feel like, oh, I made the wrong decision. Yeah. They're all good.
got to say, first thing I did was take this out because normally with my Husky, I will drill holes in this bad boy to make this guy breathe a little bit more. But I've got two hours on it exactly. Uh, some of the stickers are falling off now, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. It came with the hole shot button. They just didn't put it on because they didn't know how low I'd want it. And we'll see if I even have to use it to go racing. So anyway. This is Johnny Hopper. Nova. Alright, so I'm officially finished with my day. Just changed oil. Clean the bike up because I put two hours on it. I wanted to get good clean oil in here. And this isn't a, a review on the bike. This was basically me just getting another bike that I didn't think I was going to get another bike for Jesus I don't know I thought I was finished finished nobody wanted to sponsor me nobody wanted to so I went bought a bike and having that skid plate is kind of a pain in the ass to change the oil but some of the things that I did like on the bike is I liked the motor the mapping is it just feels great and honestly the suspension is really really plush just like what, I, what everyone else has been seeing you know what my settings were and I'm probably still gonna send it to factory connections because that's just what I want to do but I think I'm gonna leave everything I mean the bike the mapping was the biggest thing for me and I'm going to put a 125 air filter screen in it well because it comes with a weird screen I'm going to have a 125 air filter basket and I can put the part list in there too. I think you should do that. You don't really need a backfire screen. Don't, I mean, the bike's not really probably going to blow up. And then this, if you have another FC 450, that's not a Rockstar edition, just buy the, the side panel that has the custom holes in it. It's simple. I can put that in the link in the description as well too. All in all, I'm happy with my purchase. So, again, this wasn't a bike review video. I think Racer X Vital, all those guys did a really good job. 
Uh, but if you guys want a bike review, I'll, I'll make a little bit more of a bike review.